Oh god! Oh Jesus! <laughs> oh god, that got me. That got me good. God damn it, that got me good. <sighs> Jeez. Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. This is Odin, and today we're going to continue playing Alan Wake 2. I think this is going to be the last chapter, because in the last episode, we were able to defeat Scratch, and I think he was somehow extracted from Alan, and went into Alex Casey, and I yeah, I think that this is going to be the last chapter. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. We'll see. And um, by the way, that is my heater back there, because it's cold as balls, and it looks so cool. <laughs> it looks like I've got some device that, I don't know, throws the red light to the wall. But well, anywho, let's go. <laughs> what are these two doing? Tom, we need to get to our next gig. We're doing this for you and our lovely saga. You take care of things on this side. Don't screw it up, Tom! I've seen it all play out. Like a horror movie I've been forced to watch. The Dark Presence held all the cards now. Whoa. They traded their own lives for this? Oh, that's, that's sad. Oh, wait a second, that is too bad. Oh, you're next Welcome door. back, Wake. You are Wake now, right? With the shadow out of you? Some I hope so. Bad news is, I haven't seen a situation this fucked since the AWE in Eagle River. The Shadow's now in Alex, and Anderson is gone. We need to figure out how to salvage this. I'll do anything it takes to fix this, Agent Estevez. I'm the reason this is all happening. It's never that simple. But I should have put you in a box and shipped you off to a containment facility the second I laid eyes on you. The only question now is, are you able to fix this? I could try. Not the most encouraging answer, but we'll make it work. I hope you can write Alice back into this. Scratch. Because it was very sad that she took Casey. her own life. It threw Saga into the lake. If she ends up in the dark place, she could be there forever. It took me 13 years to get out. Zane never did. Tor and Odin went in after her, right? Maybe they'll get her out with the power of rock and roll. I saw them when I was trapped there. They performed in my musical. I'm immediately less optimistic about this. <laughs> What's the situation? I've never seen an entity break a bureau containment unit like that. And now the Dark Presence is occupying Agent Casey? Oh, that mean. When it attacked him in the woods, it must have been preparing for this. And now he has the clicker. Scratch will go to Bright Falls and use the clicker to bring about the horrific ending he wrote for Return. But I can still fix this. How? Scratch must have the manuscript. If I can read the ending, I can rewrite it. I need to go after him. We won't get very far without these. This plan is a real Hail Mary way. I wish I could help. This is all on you. Oh, I got you every kind of weapon we have available. Don't fuck it up. <laughs> oh. She's not very confident. The, the FBI vehicle would be at the parking lot. Um. Uh, yeah. I was awake again, clear-headed for the first time in what felt like a lifetime. Oh I was back exactly God. where I left. A dark forest outside Bright Falls. A gun in one hand, a flashlight in the other, haunted by my own writing. Alice, take it from me. I knew what I had to do. Stop the horror story from coming true. Stop the dark presence. Okay, this is cool for two reasons. One, this is the same place you start the game, right? As Nightingale? This is the path to take. And two, that music! That was a sound effect from Alan Wake 1, whenever the... 
the TV show, Night Springs, whatever that, that played on the TVs. Th th this, uh, this same soundtrack played every time. It's so cool. Wow, I love it. I love that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Cool, cool. Chill, man. I'm only getting good at this game when it's ending. <laughs> the window is so loud. Oh my god, even that that same sound effect from Alan Wake 1 again. This is really reminiscent of Alan Wake 1, I'm not gonna lie. Whoa, what is happening up there? Man, the window... Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, this is exactly like Alan Wake 1! <laughs> Suffocating! How many are there? Oh, there we go. Way too many. Can I can I use a flare gun? Closing in, 
It was inside me the whole time, and then it took over. Turned me to scratch. There was a Casey box up there, right? Nothing here to take. Uh, so this device turned out to be a monitoring device for the paranatural stuff happening. Supernatural, paranatural, I don't know what they call it. Uh, the FPC. <clears throat> so that is why the guy in the beginning of the game was allowed into the area. Oh, I think... Oh, is it because the device didn't work? When Nightingale came out of the lake? I think that's it. I had to get to Bright Falls. See. Let's go to Bright Falls. Last time you were in Bright Falls, <laughs> the thing didn't go so well. I brought Saga Anderson into this story to help me escape. She succeeded. It cost her everything. I'd used Alex Casey in my writing for years. The real Casey had been drawn here because of that. Now he was yeah, a victim right. too. Yeah. Saga, Casey, Alice, all this horror originates from me. It's my fault. Scratch had to be stopped. I've driven down this road before. Been driving on it forever. If Scratch had brought the dark place here, this would take me back inside. In 2010, I had dived in. A leap of faith for Alice. With no idea that the cost would be a nightmare worse than death. It had taken me 13 years to get out. Now Alice was dead. Because of me. And I was going to make that leap again, this time knowing the cost all too well. Oh, is this... Oh, this is the trailer. Another way to look at it? I had brought the dark place here with me. I never had gotten out. Maybe after this I finally could. It was a fool's hope. I had no choice. I had to do it. That didn't make me any less terrified. Times does this poor soul have to do this? Dear Fest. This is not what I expected. You know what I expected either. <laughs> it's just Deer Fest? Is this the same Deer Fest from 2010 when they arrived? We did this. We made this. Oh, that terrible laugh. The old gods of Asgard. This guy is still bad. naked. <laughs> Wake clearly knows what his fans naked want old guy. <laughs> yeah, what I don't want to see is a naked old guy Where walking on the street with a towel. Yeah. They're all naked like you. Whoa, more naked old people. What is this? Is it tradition? <laughs> to just walk around naked? 
Alan Wake Return. Oh. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. So, this is where things go wrong, isn't it? Where am I supposed to go? Onto the stage? Do I have to speak with that guy? Is that Elmo? I think that is Elmo. Uh, what am I supposed to do? Explore Bright Falls? Should I go to the sheriff's station? Oh, the way is blocked. Can I open that? Can I just hop over this? Dude, that I thing is not tall enough. You can hop over. Dude, you don't even understand half a life. You don't even put clothes on. Go down the Other. Return has Oh, the diner. Is it, is it Sarah? Sarah, is it you? Can I go back in there? Come on. Alan Wake's brilliance is on full display with his choice of a hardcover book jacket made of a premium enamel stock with gloss lamination that is both tasteful and pleasant to the touch. Isn't that right? Oh. Wake set a high standard with his previous novels, but I can say without hesitation that Return contains the best and most compelling book description on a back cover that I have ever read. This book blurb is truly riveting and will keep you on the edge of your seat from start to finish. It is accompanied by a tasteful photograph of Alan Wake's home here in Bright Falls. Home. The book weighs one pound and three ounces. Return is a true masterpiece. I'll give it a perfect score of five armor beers out of five. How about you? <laughs> Is that supposed to be me? There you have it. Alan Wake has done it again. This was the Costco Brothers Book Club. Cheers. Oh. His voice changed. Possible brothers. I needed to get a copy of Return. I needed to read the ending to have a shot at changing it. I was inside Scratch's ending, a perverse version of reality. The townspeople brainwashed. Everyone and everything revolved around Return, as if it had just been published. Oh, that music! Oh my god. This is from Alan Wick 1, the sad music. Oh my god, everything is so nostalgic. But I still haven't been able to find a copy of the book. Can I just... Should I just like... This is so stupid. This is so stupid. I could see the round windows of the writer's room in the photo. That's where I had to go. To rewrite the ending of her turn. Oh, oh, whoa, this is creepy. Whoa, this is creepy. Whoa, this is creepy, this is creepy. No, 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 no! Whoa, this is an instant death? I could get out through the back. Oh, this is so lame. Oh, this is so lame. <laughs> I don't know if that was a bug that came just to get easy on me. I had the book now. 
I could write my ending to return. I had to get to the writer's room to stop this horror story. So we're going back to Cauldron Lake, right? This was an obsessive, egocentric nightmare, all revolving around a vain monster of a writer and his final divine work of art. The novel returned come true. It wouldn't stop here. It would keep spreading. Uh, this is the nursing home, man. Right? So I live here now? I live in the nursing home? Is the dead guy still in the basement? I want to check that out. Can I go to the basement? Oh, it's not here. Ah, the door to the cellar is closed. Come on. supposed to go this way? No. The other way. Whoa, okay. I had to find another way inside. That got me. A little. It's not gonna be just a walk in the park, is it? Alice? Alice? What was that? Alice was dead. Was this a trap? Or was Scratch torturing me? Either way. Uh, I don't have any weapons and this is a very dark place. This is already creeping me out. This is already creeping me out. Give me something to fight, man. This is creepy. This is creepy. Why the hospital? Why does the hospital have to be the last place you visit? Alan. Oh god, Jesus! Okay, third time is the charm. Let's see. Right? From the diner. Oh, Rose, not Sarah. Oh, How are you here? Sarah was a sheriff. <laughs> I'm here to save you, silly. 
I got your instructions. I found every hidden message you left for me. In the radio, in the wind, in the forums on my Alan Wake fan site. What? No, Rose, I haven't been leaving you any messages. Oh, I get it. Yes, Alan, only a crazy person would think you've been leaving them secret messages. <laughs> Wink. But now you need to get your butt upstairs, Alan. This shit won't write itself, no matter what William Shakespeare said. Right. Thank you, Rose. I'll do what I can. Wow, who thought? Of all the characters in game, Rose will be the person who saves you. <laughs> the random waiter Upstairs, in, his, in a restaurant. The writer's room must be is in going the to be the person who saves the world. That's where the windows <laughs> were. Oh god, dude, this. I have put everything ready for the visitors. I'll come to wash the floor of your room next. All you need is water and Phileda. Water is the oldest bulb. Water finds its way. What water brings, it takes away. It can be clean or dirty. It can give life or drown it. Akti. I didn't expect to see you here, but it makes sense. Can you help me find my way? One last time. Mm, now there's a devil in the fish trap. Don't be spooked by it so that shit won't start beating your underpants. <laughs> okay. I'll get the door open for you, Tom. There you go. The matter is a stake. Now comes the end of the rhyme. Thank you, Ati. The creepy janitor guy. Who's always just around the corner. Oh, so this is the room that we were not allowed to go into by uh, on the saga side, so... Wow, this is beautiful. Ah, uh, writer's room. I was here. Scene. I needed to write the ending. I only had one chance to get this right. Um, this is the cabin in Cauldron Lake, right? This is like the attic of the same building. This is not... I don't, uh, this doesn't look like it was the nursing home. This is it. Can you see the lake outside? You can't see anything. Okay. <laughs> I needed an ending that took everything already in return and extended it into a conclusion that would save us. Only the and perfect Alice. ending would work. Please. Please. Also, an ending that would save Alice. If it doesn't, Return's then I don't want ending it. was an eternal deer fest that would keep spreading. Given time, Scratch would plunge the world into his nightmare. I had to stop that from happening. I had to write one more chapter for Return. A perfect ending that would save us all. I was the only one who could write it. Everything depended on this. On me. Any second now, Scratch would burst through that door to stop me. Every plot thread dangled in my brain. It suddenly felt impossible. Something stirred in the room, coming to me. An idea. Oh, that's where I'm supposed to be. The ending has to fit the genre if it's going to work. The ending has to fit the genre if it's going to work. In a horror story, there's only victims and monsters. If there is Aero, they will ultimately pay a heavy price. I won't let the horror story take Logan and Casey. They were dragged into this. They need to survive. Non-negotiable. Not just them. We need to try to save everyone. Is it going to be the at the cost of his own life done, again? No matter what. The more people we save, the greater the cost. And the hero must pay the price. The scales always need to balance. Pay the price. 
Let's see what he's gonna do again. Pay the price himself. It didn't work that well last time. Something felt different. I'd never seen myself in a vision before, but it fit. Saga and I were both at the center of this story. She was now my co-author. This was the beginning of the end. We were characters in a horror story, charging blindly towards the finale. We still didn't have everything we needed. This would not work without the clicker. So we're gonna go get... So we're gonna go get the clicker? I'm gonna play until the game ends. I don't care. I cannot wait to see the ending. What's going on? Um, Am I in the guild she... office? No. Is she now? It's the mind place. Also in the dark place. My work. It's all gone. What the hell is happening? Let's watch the TV and find out. Nothing's working. I can't think straight. Yeah. Where is everything? You're in the dark place. I can't sense anyone. Get used to it. You're in the dark place, Saga. I can't leave. Why can't I leave? Saga, things are gonna get crazy. The dark presence took over Casey, stole the clicker from me. The last thing I remember is him throwing me into Cauldron Lake. I'm in the dark place. I'm lost. I don't know how to get out. I don't know what to do. That wasn't me. Was it? What? Yes. Failed who? What's happening to the case board? I'm in the dark place. I'm lost. I don't know how to get out. I don't know what to do. Yeah, that's it. What about yourself, the other saga? The board says I failed them. Who's them? I let everyone down. Logan, Casey, myself. This is my fault. My daughter is dead. My partner was taken over by a monster. I'm trapped in the dark place. Powerless. I'm not powerless. What is happening here? This isn't me. You're gonna figure out who's Logan. I neglected my family for my job. I was too thrilled by the cases. The mysteries. I liked how dangerous the work was. And now that danger has destroyed my family. It killed my daughter. No. Casey. Casey depended on me. And I let him down. I wasn't watching his back. I got wrapped up chasing the wrong lead. He needed me. Now he's turned into a monster. He needed me. Okay. Scratch took Casey, and it's my fucking fault. I am a terrible mother. I let my daughter die! I'm a failure! This is what I deserve! The story... My life, my family is just part of a book! Another white asshole deciding what I get to do, how I get to do it. There it is! He took my daughter from me. I'll never be free of this story, from him! He used her. Okay. 
She's not dead. God damn it. Oh, this is so messed up. They match everything, right? This is so messed up. How many times am I supposed to do this? Uh, Logan is dead. I'm sorry. It's getting darker. The picture is getting darker. No! I'm done with this. It just keeps coming back. Yeah, right? Scratch. Doesn't He's using Casey now. Like he used Wake. Something's very fucking wrong here. I want to go home. Night Springs. Logan and David love that show. Their weekly ritual. I never should have trusted these. Oh, so stuff are coming back, huh? Casey was being corrupted, and I did nothing. Scratch was wake. How could I miss that? Well, because you were too excited to find out who wake is. Are you gonna touch the This deer? case, this room, is any of it even real? Be careful not touching the deer. Wait. Lost your mind. What? Wake was a scratch. I was a terrible detective. I ignored the facts. You were a terrible detective. What's happening? Partner. These are all negative comments about herself. Uh, I couldn't protect her. It feels like I'm trapped in a nightmare. Stuck in an echo chamber with all my fears, my doubts, yeah. my insecurities. Now, can you guess why it took Alan 13 years That's to get not... out? No. Yeah, you wish. That is all true, though. There's nothing over there. There's no way out! There is a deer mask over there. The cult was just the beginning of the spiral. It was. It's I spent too much spiral. time away from Logan. You did. Stuff are appearing. I've had it with a cultist maniac! I never should have left Casey at the hotel by himself. Uh, Casey was I... hurt. I should have been watching his back. There's a little pumpkin all over. There's a little pumpkin all over the place. Oh, Logan. These are, dude, these are just appearing. The horror story used her. You're right. Glad you figured that out. <sighs> it was so insane. obvious the Coscula brothers were behind the cult. Right? She was with the FBC. I mean, not that he was with the FBC, uh, but he was one of the people who was allowed to go in near Cauldron Lake. What's like, happening to me? Ooh. I don't know why I'm even matching these. Aww. That doesn't go there. What the hell? I abandoned my partner. I hate this. But it's all true. I had tried to silence these thoughts. Focus on the case. Yeah, right. But I can't escape them anymore. I'm drowning. I need a way out before I'm dragged under. This is so messed up. Come on. Fuck no! Oh god! Oh Jesus! <laughs> oh god, that got me. That got me good. God damn it, that got me good. <sighs> Jeez. No. There has people. to be a way out. I need a way out. Oh god. 
back on me. None of this is real. I've lost it. I'm not even here. The mind place isn't real. A case about supernatural darkness. I'm having a full-on psychotic break. I dragged Logan away to a tin can in Watery. She's dead because of me. There has to be a way out. Yeah, sure. Yeah, you need a way I out. I need a way out. It's over. There's no point trying. Everything is lost. There's no way out. No way to fix this. There's no way out. I'm stuck here forever. Just me and my past. My guilt. My mistakes. I'm not getting anywhere. I'm stuck. But this is my mind place. My mind. Everything I need is here. It, it has to be. That's what Alan Wake's been telling himself for oh. 13 years. The lights! No. No. I'm not giving up. Focus, Saga. The uh. answers I need are here somewhere. I just have to look. You're gonna turn into a Taken if you give up, right? What's that white here? My badge. You don't want to pick Never should have taken this case. Ah, uh, this. This is like Alan Wick 1. She's bringing stuff Every into reality with, his, with her flashlight. After a friend left, it was. Well, I was in a, was in a bad, bad place. place. You were dragging me to those dinners at your house with your family. It really uh, meant a lot. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Oh, the coffee cups. I saw this cups. online and it made me think of you. Okay, what are you doing? Don't make a big deal out of it, Mom. No hugs, no hugs. Not the worst. Okay. Scratch was too much for us. I should have made KC stay behind. Hey, Mom. I made you a charm bracelet for good luck. I made a matching one for me, so bring me back something cool from Washington. Ah, that's sweet. I am honored by this award. Thank you. While our agency must continue to improve, the work we do here, protecting communities, pursuing the truth, it's the most important work there is. Supervisory. No, I'm not reading anymore. There's more. Stop, Stop blaming, blaming yourself, yourself Anderson. Anderson. A knife in the arm is just, just part of the part job. Of the job. If you're going to keep gonna fussing, fussing, you can get the hell out. Look, <laughs> Devin, leave the whiskey. whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> That's a Rick thing to say. <laughs> Bottle of whiskey I gave Casey when he was in the hospital. Our job is dangerous. Casey himself told me that. It's no one's fault. Fault! It is! It is! What? It's not too late. I can still save them. No matter what I do, someone will get hurt. I don't know what to do. I'm afraid. I'm my own worst enemy. The fears in my head are stopping me from trying. From leaving. What the fuck? I, 
I can't let this place make me question myself. I know what I'm doing. I have no idea what I'm doing. I can't do this. Those are not supposed to do it, right? Terrible mom, yeah, you're not a terrible mom. You have. I'm not a perfect mom. Not the worst. But mom. I'm doing my best. Logan was just being nice when she gave me that mug. I never deserved her. God damn it! Logan isn't anyone's plot device. She's my daughter, and she's not dead. Dead? She's dead. I didn't save her. There's one more thing I need to find. I don't know where that is. Am I allowed to leave? There needs to be one more thing. It's not complete. How am I supposed to prove myself I'm not losing my mind? Do I have to watch TV? No. Uh, do I have to profile myself? I cannot do that anymore. But I don't have any other evidence. Find evidence? Is it this? Hey! hey. I ever didn't do that. Just calling to say thanks for your note. Oh, sometimes, sometimes I just I get in my head, in my head too, head much. too much. much. So, so... Thanks for pulling me out. You're really the best, Mom. Really. Okay. Talk soon. Saga, for what's worth, I think it's important for important that Logan grows up seeing you do what you love, what you're great at. Uh, that will teach. That will teach her so much. There will be time just like this when you're question when you question your choices, your competence, even your own. Wedding. Sanity? When things get dark, remember to trust and love yourself as much as your family does. You won't be perfect, but I know you're you'll be amazing. Love you love you always mom. Okay, so I'm I'm not crazy. I'm just doing what I love. It's okay to be afraid. Which is not crazy. <laughs> but I can't <laughs> let this end here. I can't, I can't, I can't! I just I just want it to stop. Giving up won't make this stop. Logan needs me. Casey needs me. How do you leave? I've made mistakes. I'll make more. But I can do better. And I can start by leaving this room. I'm afraid it will hurt. But nothing will hurt more than not trying to save them. It will hurt. But I will fight. I can leave by overcoming my doubts and fears. Well, the dark place like? tried to trap me here. The only way to leave is facing it head on. Wake called it a nightmare. I need to dive into that nightmare and find a way back home. Now I have all my. Oh, okay, let's go. Cauldron Lake. These are still for later. Called it the tree. Uh, whenever the call caused someone taken over the shadow, they cut out, cut out the monster's heart, push the switch into the hole. That is. The killers are usually the ones performing the ritual, not the detective. Acting out their sick fantasy. They may be trying to get you involved, forcing you into their twisted world. The story. These are still for later. Cold stashes. Whoa, I found so many. Cauldron Lake. 
Bright Falls. Uh, Bright Falls. Cauldron Lake. Bright Falls. Bright Falls. Bright Falls. I didn't find all of them. I mean, I found them, but I just couldn't open them. <laughs> Nursery Rhymes Monster Doll. Have I found all of these, at least? I think I've done all of these. I haven't even done all of these, <laughs> okay. Only the rest of the bureau knew what a softy Casey is. Eleven remaining. Miss you, kiddo. Eleven what? I'll be home soon. Eleven remaining. Also woke up in New York. Come home. The payphone was ringing. Somehow I knew the call was for me. Wow, this is so cool. They switch places. Now Alan is in the real world and she's in the dark place. This is so cool. Hello? It's me again. Parliament Tower Plaza. To make your ending come true, you will need what's inside the shoebox there. The oh, ending? Right. A shoebox? Who is this? Must be her mom, right? Uh. This place looks so weird like this. I cannot leave that way. Come on, Sheriff Breaker, Sheriff Breaker. Can we finally rescue this guy? Agent Anderson. Please. Is that really you? Sorry, this place likes to play tricks. Sheriff Breaker? What happened to you? How did you end up in the dark place? I was brought here. Snatched away from the morgue by a man named Orlin Dor. Been trying to piece it together for. Well, it feels like a long time now. Who is this Dor person? He's here. Somewhere. I've been seeing his face in my dreams for years. <laughs> this whole thing is insane. But he is much more than he seems. He's connected to all of this. I need to get to Parliament Tower Plaza. Do you have any idea where it is? This place, it's like trying to find your way around in a dream. I've been trying to map it, but it keeps looping, shifting. Like there are many versions stacked on top of each other. There is a page, 
describes Dorr finding his way through this place. I tried to follow the steps, but... No luck. Can I see that page, Tim? Of course. In fact, it's the page I tried to give you back in the morgue in Bright Falls. Huh. Now that I think about it, maybe Dor brought me here to keep you from reading it. Here. Maybe this will send you back then. I hope it does. I'm gonna keep looking for Dor. The closer I get, the closer I feel to waking up. I need to find the man behind the curtain. Warren and Dor walked across the rain-slick tiles of Caldera Street Plaza. He stopped at the door to the construction yard. A poster for his talk show hung there. He stepped through, willing it to take him to Parliament Tower Plaza. I know what I need to do. The door to Parliament Tower Plaza was at the construction yard. I can profile him. This is the first time I've seen a page about Warland Door. Who is he? A door that stands between two rooms is in both. A door that can lead anywhere is everywhere. That door is the center. He governs the currents of reality. With all the powers mixed up in this, it's hard to know who's playing who. Opening too many doors. <laughs> this isn't important right now. I can look into it later. The page describes him moving through the door. How can I do that? The dark place has many faces and many names. It is a mirror. Reflecting all possible realities. The family of doors have the power to shift between these realities. Here and elsewhere. If I can find a way to navigate through this nightmare, maybe I can find a way to get back home. That's a bit like the Andersons, but with doors. <laughs> I can also lay some power, but okay. I mean it's because I mean it's coming in very handy now, but They still haven't built part of the tower, right? <clears throat> oh, this, is, this is the first murder site, isn't it? I made it. I need to get up to the street and find that statue. Thought for a second what to give me. <laughs> so we're gonna fight. So. You let me do it. You pushed me. Enough already. Eleven batteries? Okay. There's the shoe box. The, shoe box? Oh, the, the clicker. And, and some kind of, of bullet. Light. Shining with light. How did the clicker get here from Washington? <laughs> So low on health. Uh, am I 
out of ammo. And I cannot run. This is bad. Is this a safe place? Oh, okay, yeah, this is. Thank you. Yes? Hello. Uh, you don't know me, but you need to listen. Hold on. How did you know the clicker would be there? This is important. Alan's lost. He doesn't have the ending. He needs your help to finish the story. How am I supposed to help him from here? So, this switch okay. rolls? I'm in the dark place. Alan. Saga, what is this? My mind place. I've reached out to you like this before. But I understand more about it now. You see a visions too. I used to think they were ideas, inspiration, but they're real. Just like this now. I try to use them to make the story come true. So this is coming from both of us. Maybe that's how we could communicate in the overlaps. We could use this to stop Scratch. First, I need the ending. You have the ending. So there's a problem with the ending? I don't have the ending. It has to be perfect, but I don't have time to figure it out. I don't know what to do. Fuck. I'm so sorry. This whole thing is a fucking mess. I agree. But we can still figure this out. And what exactly does perfect mean? The elements of the ending need to come from the story's pre-existing parts. To make matters worse, this is a horror story. You don't need to tell me this is a horror story. Right. The ending has to fit the genre if it's going to work. In a horror story, there are only victims and monsters. There must be a way to bring a hero into the story. If there is a hero, they will ultimately pay a heavy price. I can't let the horror story take Logan and Casey. They were dragged into this. They need to survive. Non-negotiable. Not just them. We need to try to save everyone. I have an idea how to help Casey. He's a real person who I twisted into a character. He isn't my creation, so he isn't a suitable host for the Dark Presence. I can write that into the ending to drive that fucking thing out of him. Okay. So the ending has to be earned, set up by the story. You can't build a case without supporting evidence. That's the only way to make it stick. Well, if the ending has to fit the story, this is how I see it. Return is a story about a story that comes true. And I'm a character in the story. Not just a character. The hero. Okay, a hero. <laughs> in any case, I've been through hell to be here. And this is my life. It feels earned to me that I rise above the story and be there to create the ending. Yes. That's what we're doing. Here, now. We're figuring out the ending I need to write. This isn't Scratch's ending. But this isn't your ending either. This is our ending. You aren't the only one deciding these things anymore. You're right. I can't do this alone. Every time I write, things only get worse. You beat this thing back in 2010, Alan. 
And here you are doing the same again. You're a hero too. We're in this together. Then let's bring it home. The ending will have to be dark, no matter what. The more people we save, the greater the cost, and the hero must pay the price. One of the heroes. The scales always need to balance. Fuck it. Let's go with this. Are you sure? There's no time for anything better. Scratch could be here any second. Then that's our ending. I have the clicker. I'll find a way to get it to you. And I'll get the pages down. See you on the other side. I need to retrace my steps back to Caldera Street Plaza. I arrived in the dark place through the fountain. Maybe I can leave that way too. Way too many. These shadows are always way too many. Caldera Plaza is back through the subway. I have to hurry. Thank you. I also get extra stuff. Thank you. I'm gonna use all of this. I just outrun them. out of it. Right, well, let's heal here first, then use the patch. Oh, don't reset. Oh, no, no. Reset. Is there anything else I can take? It. The ending we talked about. I have the clicker and the bullet of light. Let's do this. I have to be the one to do it. I feel like I've always been on this journey. Okay. It must end here, this darkness. What lies under the surface now shifts. A play of shadows catching my eye, thrusting my face into the water. He's here. It's shockingly cold. Past the mirror of the surface. <laughs> And I will see. Can I see? The end. Scratch! Now! <laughs> A white searing light of truth. 
truth that for a flash pierces the shadows and reveals the hidden horror. And in that moment of silence, the whispered message finally heard. of shadows fool us all subterfuge to get our price of admission darkness not as a monster but as emptiness but none the wiser no answers no truths the hero turns to look inside is destroyed by what he sees and is redeemed saga said we're both heroes i'll pay that price so will she we are here to kill the monster i pray nothing comes after this nothing was sleep this is how we win is it too easy? What if this is still the dark place, another dream to wake up from, always coming back to the beginning? The memory of what came before burned away by this terrible realization. Maybe it's a mercy, forgetting, to know nothing when we loop around, back to the... to know if it ends or not oh god damn it oh this was amazing this was amazing one of the best games I've ever played in my life man this was amazing um, I don't know if anything is gonna come up after the, the credits but we'll see I'm gonna talk for a little um, so again, Alan sacrificed himself to somehow stop the Dark Presence. Which is very sad that in the end both he and his wife died. This is, this is so terrible. Oh god. I just... I just hope that we get to see Alan. If there is another Alan Wake, if there's going to be Alan Wake 3, I just hope that Alan just doesn't die. And he somehow revived or I don't know but this just this just doesn't seem fair it's so unfair that okay let's suppose that Alan is actually Thomas Sane who is somehow reborn again again and again I don't know I, I don't know if this has happened many times or it just happened once because the Andersons only remember Tom and recognize Alan as Tom um, if Alan is Tom, then this is so cruel. Just imagine being born and then being forced into a story that leads to your own death. Doesn't matter how hard you try, it just leads to your own death and to the death of people who you really love and you hold dear. It's it's so messed up. I just this it, this is not fair to the character. I mean, Sam Lake, he really thinks that the story should be perfect. Like, every time he makes a game, he makes it in a way that the story seems perfect, at least in his own opinion. It is perfect, but... I'm not saying it's not perfect, I'm just saying it's so cruel. It's so cruel for a person to have to live like this. To be trapped in that place for 13 years and then just die in the end. I don't know. And this song. Oh god. Is there anything coming up? Yeah, there's something coming up. Yes.
part is just for you. After the haunting started, I got in touch with an organization that was still looking into what happened in Bright Falls. I went to their offices and something happened there. After I got home, I could suddenly remember everything. I remembered being trapped inside that lake, a dark ocean with with echoes of myself, my 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 fears, my photos. Inside a dark tide of, of madness, the same events and images looping again and again. And then I saw a light. Your light. You dove in just as I swam out. You never drowned. And you're still there reaching out. That is what the haunting is. I can see you because I've been there too. I chose to come back to the dark place. That is why I put on this exhibition. I had to mislead you so that I could get you to where you needed to be. The only way out of your loop is destruction or ascension, light or dark. And we've covered the destruction part many times over. And we're getting to the ascension bit by bit. Time means nothing here. You'll still need to go through the loop. But I will keep showing you the images you need to see, the light you need to see, until you're ready. Ellen, I think we're getting close. <gasps> it's not a loop. It's a spiral. It's a spiral. every second of this game brain fuck <laughs> wow this is beautiful so okay so alan is not dead and we get to have alan wick 3 and alice is also alive that's cool okay okay that is everything i wanted okay so the ending is not that dark okay all right all right all right is it gonna be anything after this And Sam Lake, he's mad for making this. He's mad. I can just. I don't know if I press skip, it's just gonna skip everything with just the credits. I'm sorry to all these people who did a great job of making this video game, but I mean, I wanna see if there's a cutscene or something. Like the symbol on the door is Journey through the night continues. Yes, there's gonna be Alan Wake 3. Okay, okay, okay. That is exciting. That is exciting. I hope it's not gonna be 10 years later again, like this one. But we're gonna have Alan Wake 3, definitely. Okay. Uh, I think that's it. I don't think there are any, any other cutscenes. Oh, there is. Okay, well, um, thank you for watching this video and thank you for being with us uh, throughout this game and supporting us. And let me know if there's any other game that you want to see. I'll try to play it. And if there are any comments, any things you 
you like, you don't like, you want me to change, you don't want me to change anything, whatever there is, I'll be very happy to hear it. And yes, I think that'll be all. Until the next time we meet, take care, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs>